This is one of a kind. And uh, James Strode and I are out here in Prescott, Arizona, and we're going to go for a ride. Have okay. you ever had to use this uh, this fire extinguisher? Today oh, we might no, have to. No, I hope not. That. No, no, no. I hope not. Because we're going to be on fire. This uh, this engine is a 427 side oiler engine. It's built by Carroll Shelby. These engines were developed and used in a Le Mans race. Um, in fact, won the Le Mans race when Ferrari was in the same race and the Cobra beat the Ferrari. So what happened in a Le Mans race, they realized that aerodynamically this was not the best car because it's open cockpit. So they took the same model and they put a roof on it and that increased the flow of air so that you had a faster car and that's what won the Le Mans race. This engine in this car was built in 1965 by Carroll Shelby, which is a very rare engine. 427 side oiler is called. It's a big V8, probably 560 horse. By the time you get all of the double dual carbs. Uh, and what's interesting when they say a side oiler, the oil filter's on the side of the engine and there's an oil cooler in the front. So the whole system is designed to keep this thing very, very cool, operating efficiently because there's not much intake on the front. So they've got to have a very sophisticated cooling system. And I had that built for the car, a special cooling system because when I stopped at a signal, in five seconds it would heat up. They don't like to sit, they like to run. So our intent today is to let her run, baby. Our Let's intent is to take it out on the highway and let her run. So they're a hard car to drive because there's so much weight in the engine. The engine's forward. The car probably weighs 1,200 pounds before you put the engine in it. So if you don't hang on to it when you're going around corners, you'll lose it. So it takes some real, uh, it takes some practice to learn to drive them. And if you don't do it right, it's easy to flip them, it's easy to spin them. So the other thing is when the car was built, the tow box is very small. So it has a, uh, it has a special clutch in it, a racing clutch. It has a racing uh, tranny, seven, five speed forward tranny, um, racing tranny. So you have to wear special shoes when you drive it because you have to get the clutch as an extended clutch arm, so you've got to engage the clutch with your heel. And it's very hard to press it in because it's a difficult, uh, takes a lot of pressure. So it's interesting things to drive like that. Is there a learning curve on driving this? Not really, okay. not really. You just have to, you know, you just got to. This, yeah. this is a replica. If this was an original Cobra, it would be worth over a million dollars, okay. okay? So this is a replica, it was built in 1991, but the engine came out of Shelby's operation in 65, okay? So the engine's worth more than the rest of the car because it's history. It's got dual Edelbrock had carburetors on it. Beautiful car. Yeah, yeah, they're fun. So everything on the engine and in the car is kind of special, a racing clutch, a racing tranny, special ignition, uh, big uh, big carbs on it. There are three, they're, I think they're 360 pumpers. Uh, specially built shroud and, and uh, fan. It's got a special pan too, by the way. It's got a baffled pan so that the oil, you know, runs otherwise, Otherwise, when you're going, you're dropping oil to the rear of the yeah, pan. Yeah. So it's got a baffled pan, so it maintains a certain amount of oil balance between the front and back. It has, it has, by the way, five gears forward. Very seldom I've ever had it in fifth gear. And when you're running and you drop it into fifth, if you're doing 80 miles an hour and you drop it into fifth gear, it'll drop down to 2,000 RPMs, <clears throat> which is amazing, really, if you think about it. What is there about that? The, the fact that you have I control. I feel it. I mean, I just you could feel a car. You get in this. You get in the open road, and you just want to open it up. That's and, the same thing as yeah, motorcycles. Exactly. Right. You yeah. just want to throttle it. Yeah, I know that.
Oh my gosh, what a fun yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. So when we go over the cattle guards, you know, the uh, the wheel probably rubs on the wheel well a little bit, you know, so you, you get a little bit of smoke. You know. yeah. It has so much power. So much there that we're really not using. You can imagine, you know, you got over 500 horses in this thing and no weight, so... <laughs> This remind riding to, in this today reminded me of how I felt when I first started riding motorcycles. Yeah, I bet. Going across Montana at about oh, 100 miles an hour. Oh know? my gosh! I bet. But this was just yeah. intoxicating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just feel. That's a good term, you know. Right. That. That's a because you term. just you feel the risk. Yeah. You one wrong one turn, over, you're going to flip it. Over two, you yeah. just go a little bit too much. And, and you know, you know that going. happens too. Some guy will go around another car, and he'll get over onto the side, and it'll flip. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, not too long ago, a guy died doing that. Yeah. Pastor Mike loves to go fast. He's right up there with God. You know, he's talking to him, and we had just a fantastic time. I felt very safe because he's right here with me. And I know what he's going to do. He's going to keep me safe. I got, to, I got to make him feel a little younger. And I'm 93, and I felt probably 50 today. Now I'll go in, and I'll feel 102. Yeah, the really. adrenaline of riding in this car is yeah. its hard to even yeah. articulate. Yeah. It is what a treat. Yeah. I mean, you just... My gosh. And, you know, the other the thing that also struck me was how it's pretty quiet in here. It is pretty quiet. I mean, the but wind... you know you got headers out here, so, you know, you still got the noise, yeah. but you're not hearing here because they're down below us. So, yeah. 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 This is a great example of what being a Christian is. You know, we have the Lord in our life. We've got this amazing engine that powers our life, but so often we don't take full advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. Right. You get on the road and, and fear keeps us maybe sometimes from stepping out of our comfort zone. You know, with this, an engine like this, you know, it's just like, should I go faster? Or should I not? Because there's, you know, there's wisdom and there's faith, right? Sure. And, and that's just a great example of, of... The other thing, this has been a thrill of my life to be able to take Mike in this car with me today. He's the only other guy I've ever had in this car going beyond 80 miles an hour because he loves it and I love it too and I feel safe with him here. So what a treat. What a treat. So it'll go over 100. I didn't want to do that with the curvy roads. I didn't want to lose it. And there's people out there. I, did, I didn't want to lose it. Say, what happened to Mike? Well, he was riding with Jim. But he, he, went, made <laughs> but he died with a smile on his face. I'm yeah, telling really. you. <laughs> okay, Millie, sit in here. I want you to sit in here. So yeah. Millie, see. come in and get some bugs on your teeth. Bugs. See, this is made oh, for, you know what? Hot. This is made Hold for. Hold up. You got, did you burn yourself yes. on the muffler? Yes. Yeah, you've got, I should have told you. That's something you got to be really. <laughs> do you know how many times I burn my calf? So, do you, that happens in motorcycles too, doesn't it? A lot. Yeah. When you get your calf burned. So, that's why you wear. You okay, hon? Did you get the little yeah, spot? Doesn't, yeah. doesn't look now, but oh. we'll show later. Yeah, when we get out, we just so. How many stories does this car have? The guy that I bought the car from, this is his, see, this is, okay, he had a racing team, and this was his racing team. And that suit over there, you see that suit up there? That's his racing suit, helmet. And that suit came from, Danny Sullivan was an Indianapolis 500 race car winner, winner. So Stephen, my guy that I bought the car from, wore that suit when he raced the car, okay? Along with the gloves, along with the shoes. And he also raced a Lotus. Lotus is another little low-slung fast car, but he raced his car in a Le Mans race in, uh, in San Diego County someplace. Not a so I was a thrill today, absolutely. I put that in my memory bank and my memory bank, okay? And my fun day bank and all of those things, so. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. And it's sweet to have Millie in here. <laughs> yeah. Out here. Yeah, you well, step aside from that muffler. So we don't burn your Yeah. It's okay, yeah. it's okay. No. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to light.
uh, driving beautiful cars. Jim is an amazing skier. Yeah. Right? At 93, yeah. how many times a year do you ski at Snowmass and Mammoth? Yeah, I ski every year at both Snowmass and Mammoth, and I've skied for 75 years. And I've been racing since 2019 and got two golds and one silver in the national races. So I love to do it. I love to do that just as much as racing. But cars. you work hard at it. I work hard at it. You got to go to the gym a lot. You got to work on your balance and all of those things, which I try to do and I'll keep doing it. I don't race anymore, but you know, I've skied all over the country and Europe as well. Switzerland, Austria. So these are my medals here, and these are the bibs that we used. My last race was in Squaw, in Squaw I silvered, there's the wards. And when we silver, and these are the goals, that's a goal. Okay, this is a, there's two goals, that's a goal, this is a goal. Uh, a lot has to do with what your age is, and in my age category there wasn't, I stopped racing because in my age category there's nobody that's in my yeah. age category, so therefore oh, I could wow. go to, I could say, I'm going to lunch, I'll be back and finish the course. Oh, good, oh. Jim. Yeah. Something about going fast, I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's just, like I said to you today, riding in the car. Yeah. For me, yeah. it's life-giving, yeah. but part of it is the nature. You yeah. know, it wouldn't, it would be cool in a hard top, yeah. but to be in a convertible, oh, yeah. You know, you feel the air. Yeah, my, exactly. And yeah. I've always, I don't, I don't spend any time on my hair in the morning. I, <laughs> I wash it, I comb it like once. Yeah. And that, I don't, sometimes I don't even comb You're it. You're lucky you got right. it. <laughs> right. But I don't, but I love, I've always loved the feeling yeah. of whether I'm on a horse yeah. or on a motorcycle sure, or sure. in a convertible, just Absolutely. to feel the hair and the sunshine. And that's what I love yeah, about, yeah. you know, if you're it an is. outdoorsman, I know. just feel that's the what presence it's all about. of God. Absolutely. You know? So anyway. Well, thank you so hey, much. Thank you for being with me. I told you that's a memory. What that's a, a good one. What a treat.